We're back, we're in the kitchen, it's just you and I, which you guys know, I love my guests. I love AJ and Amanda and Avery more than anything, but it is fun to just, just have it be like a little, can you tell I've never surfed? Well, they say he's not coming back and nothing can fill the void, but at least we can try with food. I'll make some apple pie, come on in. It's Dead Dad's Kitchen. Today is our first November video that we're recording and I'm so excited because my brother's birthday is in November, Thanksgiving is in November. We have a lot of fun November events to look forward to. So we're gonna make pretzels and super sexy, super luxurious beer cheese dip. Ooh, I hate that I did that. <laughs> so we're not even gonna use a mixer today. So if you don't have a KitchenAid or a Breville or a Cuisinart, no worries, we're doing this all by hand, babes. Let's get started. There's a few things you're gonna need today and here they are. I need to clean this counter. Some nice warm water, not too hot, somewhere in the realm of like 100-ish degrees. If you put your finger in, it should feel just a little warm. You're gonna need an egg. That was dangerous. You're gonna need a little bit of sugar, active dry yeast, butter. Yes, this is how my butter looks. Well, because look, if you guys bake at home, you know exactly what this looks like. I have a, a who's who of pats of butter that I've just, Accumulated, there's so many in here. So that is like 15 different butters that I've thrown together. So you'll need butter, a lot of flour, and some salt. That is for our pretzels. I will tell you what you'll need for the cheese beer, cheese dip in a little bit. So what we're gonna do in our bigger bowl, because this is the bowl we'll be doing the majority of the mixing in, we're gonna put our warm water. We're gonna put a tablespoon of sugar. And what this sugar is gonna do is just help this yeast come to life. So throw that in there. The sugar is just a little food for our yeast to eat. Everyone needs a little snack. If you guys are new to the channel or new to baking, the reason that we put the yeast in the water or the milk or whatever liquid first is mostly just to make sure that the yeast is not dead. The yeast is going to do what it's going to do, whether you bloom it first or not, as long as it's alive. So that's the reason we wanna check, just so we don't find out like four hours into our process. So now while this is hanging out off to the side, we're gonna get about four and a half cups of flowski wowski. You know, so I do, I do hear myself talk sometimes and every once in a while I'm like, what was that for? We're also gonna add two teaspoons of kosher salt into our flour mixture. So our little dry bowl. Do you guys like soft pretzels? I love them. I love them. And I had an, I dated a guy once who was like, ew, no. And I was like, like we would be somewhere and I'd be like, oh, let's get the soft pretzel. And he was like, that sounds terrible. I was like, why are we together? Worked out. <laughs> We're also gonna be adding this butter into our dough. And so we just need to melt this down. Look how cute my little bowls are. Gorgeous. So for our pretzels, before we put them in the oven and everything, we are going to need an egg wash. And for this one, we're just gonna use one egg white and a tablespoon of water. I'm gonna get that prepared now while our yeast is yeasting, because why not? We won't need it for like an hour, but who cares? Okay, so our yeast is nice and foamy. And we're gonna put our dry into our wet. Okay, I wanna show you just a little something. I'm gonna take just a tiny bit of my dough here. Just ripped it off. This is called the window pane test. And I don't know if the camera is picking it up, but you should be, hello. You should be able to see light pass through your dough without it having any holes in it. And that means you've kneaded it enough. Great job, you've done so well. We're gonna take our same bowl that we made our stuff in. You know, the dough, <laughs> that's what it's called. Just put a touch of oil in there. Forgot to use deodorant today. So I just put a little oil and then brush it around. You take your little dough ball, uh, thank you. And we are going to cover this and put it in a warm place for about 55 minutes to an hour or until it is doubled in size. So this is how big we are right now. And now we have this, like an hour later. 
I love the smell of bread dough. It's sort of a little bit smells like wet flour, but I really like it. <laughs> if you guys ever wanna do like a live stream Dead Dad's Kitchen, let me know. It might be really fun. Maybe that's something I'll offer on my Patreon. Let me know what you think about that. I should have turned this on way earlier, but who cares? Everyone's like, I do, you're wasting my time. Get some water boiling, a bunch of water, big old pot of water, and we're gonna put baking soda in it. This is what's going to give our pretzels that really beautiful, crunchy, crisp outer shell. While this comes to a boil, what we're gonna do is roll out our pretzels and make them pretzels. So cute. Get out of town. I know, I can't wait. I'm just gonna oil this work surface now, as well as oil these guys. There we go. You know what's tricky about a breakup after you've like, you know, done your healing, etc. It's been so long since you like have liked somebody that you forget what it's like to like have a crush. You forget how annoying it can be. That's what I'm currently dealing with. But it's fun, having crushes are fun. It's just that feeling of like, do they like me or nah? And you're like, well, I obviously can't ask them because then they'll know. Okay. What we're doing is I have separated my pretzel dough into half, half again, and half again. So this is one eighth of my dough. We're gonna put it in about a two foot long rope, make a little U with it. You see this? Gorgeous. And then with the U, you cross, and you cross, and you put it back over. And I will usually just give mine a little press so it stays. And you've got a little pretzel. Are you guys gonna make these? <laughs> Here's something I honestly, if I don't already ask it in every video, I want to. I want to just be like, are you doing it or what's up? Look how cute. That's gonna be a pretzel. Oh, I also, I have my oven preheated to 450 degrees. Just keep that in mind. And to roll these out, so after I've separated it just with a little bench scraper, you just kind of start pushing and rolling like Play-Doh snake vibes just like we did with our Hala a couple months ago. It's a lot of fun. This would be really fun to do with kids. Okay, I wanna show you something else that you could do if you don't feel like making a bunch of large pretzels like that. Something super cute and fun would be you have your little snake, right? We're just gonna make pretzel bites and you just chop these up. You just make pretty equal sizes if you can. And now you've got little pretzel bits. Fun. I will warn you, the baking soda boiling water situation can get a little messy. That's why I've conveniently not cleaned my stove because I knew I would have to today. Also, right now, while we're waiting for our water to boil, I'm going to tell you what you're gonna need for your beer cheese sauce. I have three kinds of cheese that I have pre-shredded. I got regular blocks of cheese so that I could grate it myself. I love pre-shredded cheese, but when you're making a sauce, sometimes the like starch on the outside of the shreds that allows it to not clump can sort of mess up the like creaminess of your sauce and the silkiness of it. So I just grated it myself. I have mozzarella. I Well, this one I didn't grate myself, but it was sliced mozzarella from our Dead Dad's Kitchen that I just chopped up really tiny. I have Gruyere and on the bottom I have cheddar. I will put the measurements in the description. You're also going to need a beer. I'm gonna use an IPA because I think that the hoppiness will be really, really nice, but you could use Budweiser or if you don't want to have alcohol in your house or you cannot purchase alcohol, you can absolutely use non-alcoholic beer as well. Onion powder, I know this is onion salt, but that's what I've got. Garlic powder, chipotle powder, some salt, some pepper, some flour, and some butter. I'm gonna get to use these weird pieces of butter. And some milk. Okay, we've got a beautiful rolling boil. Bring this over so that I'm not stupidly moving things like I normally would. We're gonna add two thirds of a cup of baking soda. What if I did it just with this? Ooh. I'm gonna kinda eyeball it. Okay, I think that's good. <laughs> I've got a slotted spoon. Our water's boiling, it's all baking soda-y. Take our pretzel and drop it in for about one minute. And I'm gonna just sort of ladle some water on top of it so both of those sides are getting nice and coated. Yeah! Oh, goodness. Okay. And, ow, let's do it better this time. <laughs> but see the difference? This one's been in the water. It's already got a little bit of a different color going on. And if you could feel it, it's a little slimy, but that's good because that's gonna create that crispy crust, okay? What's a better way to get these out? I think I know. Oh, way better. Oh, I'm awesome. They are hot. <laughs> Just a reminder, in case you're as silly as I am. This one's already gonna be a little weird. 
But that's the magic of things that are homemade. I'm a big fan of the word rustic. <laughs> We're gonna egg wash these bad boys. Since I do not have pretzel salt, which is like this really big chunky grain salt, we're gonna use just regular Maldens. Well, which is still special though. So this is just that egg yolk and the tablespoon of water. And this is also gonna help promote that beautiful brown crust. Okay, now let's do our super cute little pretzel bites. I'm just gonna throw these ouch in there all together. And the same exact thing, we're just gonna egg wash these, put some salt on them and throw them in the oven. You guys missed quite a few burns, so sorry about that. Um, I think something that's important for all of us to know, I'm an idiot. Yum. Oh my God, that's gonna be so good. Okay, we need two thirds of a cup of this. We're gonna make a roux. Who knows what a roux is, yes? Oh my God, exactly. It's the base of a few sauces and it is comprised of butter and flour. Good job. So we're using a quarter cup of butter and a quarter cup of flour, but this is also where we're gonna add all of our seasonings. Also, oh my God, I pulled out our pretzels and holy sh So those are gorgeous. Just use the parchment paper. A quarter cup of flour. We're also gonna add our onion powder. Oh, it smells good. I get a lot of questions about this always pan and I just wanna let you guys know I use it. Let's just say it's called that for a reason. We're gonna add just a pinch of salt, a little black pep. We're gonna add in a little bit of our beer and a little bit of our milk. So a little more beer, loosen it up. And some more milk. And see, it's really coming together. It's nice and thick. You don't want Rennie cheese sauce, gross. I'm gonna finish the beer out in this last one. Honestly, tell me something honestly. Does anything sound better than hot cheese sauce and fresh homemade pretzels? Now, here's where we're at. It kind of looks like soup, gorge. We're gonna add in all of this cheese, but we want it to be even lower. We want it to be on really low heat, okay? There's the money shot, baby! We're just gonna keep whisking, look. Hello? Oh, it's getting melty. Oh my God, come here, come here, come here. Oh my God. <laughs> the moment has come. We have our gorgeous pretzel. So fluffy. Let's get a little bit of this. <laughs> okay. Okay, everybody, calm down. Okay. No way this is real. Sometimes I have a hard time filming outros because what I made is so good, I don't wanna think about anything else. I know I tell you guys you have to make everything I make, but I really think if you're gonna make something, make this. Oh my God. And if you do, make sure you tag me. Please make sure that you like, comment, subscribe, turn on the bell notification. Check out my Patreon while you're at it. We do a bunch more cool stuff on there. That's it, I have to go enjoy this alone. <laughs> Bye.